Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a VHS and Blu-ray update for April 4th, 2019. In this update, I'm going to show you eight VHS tapes and three Blu-rays. And last week, if you have been reading my posts in my community tab, I did order one VHS and three Blu-rays from eBay, and I have received them all over the past several days. And also yesterday I got seven VHS tapes at an antique store in my hometown called Bygone Antiques and Collectibles. So without any further ado, let's start the update. And I will point out which tape I got from eBay, but if I don't say anything, then I got that certain tape at Bygone Antiques and Collectibles. So yeah, let's get started. And we're going to start off with the one and only clamshell, and this is a really rare one. I actually found a Neon Mickey VHS, and it is the 1982 VHS of Babes in Toyland. And the artwork has been cut and put in a rental case. And this is a 1961 movie. Starring Ray Bolger, Tommy Sands, Annette Funicello, and Ed Wynn. And I heard this is actually a Christmas movie, so when Christmas time comes this year, I'll probably have to give this a watch. And it says for sale, only not intended for rental, but obviously it is a form of rental. The running time is 126 minutes. Well, on the case it says 126 minutes, but on the label it says 105 minutes. And I actually looked up the correct running time, and it turns out... This is actually the correct running time. There's the tape with the sticker label, and it's a former rental from National Video, and it's got a tan lid. Print date is December 5th, 1982. And I'm gonna have to check this tape and see if it has the Walt Disney and U promo at the end or not. Since it was printed in late 1982, I think there's a chance that it might have it, but when I do check, I will let you know for sure if it has it or not. And now on to slipcases. The first slipcase is the one tape I got from eBay, and this came in on Saturday, March 30th. And it is the 1992 VHS of Born in East L.A., a 1987 movie starring Cheech Marin. This time Cheech is not just on the wrong side of the wall, he's on the wrong side of the line. A comedy bordering on insanity. And this movie also stars Daniel Stern, Paul Rodriguez, J. Michael Vincent, Camilo Lopez, and Tony Plana. And Cheech Marin also wrote and directed this movie as well. I know this movie recently did get a Blu-ray release from Shout Factory, but I decided to save some money and get the VHS copy instead. Rated R, 1 hour and 25 minutes, aka 85 minutes. And this tape is a replica of the original 1988 VHS. Sticker label and end label. Printed in the 8th week of 1992. And I did check the opening. It still does have the same content as the original 1988 VHS. Now this next tape was still sealed when I got it yesterday. This was one of two sealed tapes that I got yesterday. This is the 1997 VHS of G.I. Blues, starring Elvis Presley. This is a 1960 movie renewed in 1988. Elvis sings G.I. Blues, Tonight is So Right for Love, Wooden Heart, Blue Suede Shoes, and more. And also stars Juliet Prowse. The Real G.I. Blues. How much of a pay cut did Elvis take when he went into the Army? Answer, his $100,000 a month salary dropped to $78. Rated PG, 104 minutes. Sticker Wable. Still uses a 1996 copyright date, but this tape is actually from 1997. Printed in the 41st week of 1997. The next one is the 2002 VHS of Heist. 
2001 movie with Gene Hackman, Danny DeVito, and Delroy Lindo. High Strike Skulls is J. Carr of the Boston Globe. Exhilarating. The cast is brilliant is Michael Wilmington, Chicago Tribune. This is a Warner Brothers movie co-produced by Morgan Creek and Franchise Pictures. And the Warner Brothers movies that were released by, that were distributed by, Mor by Morgan Creek are actually now owned by Sony Pictures. Endlessly Clever, full of action suspense is Kevin Thomas of Los Angeles Times. And this movie also has Sam Rockwell, Rebecca Pigeon, and Ricky Jay. Rated R for Languages and Violence, 109 minutes. This has a dark sticker label. Print date is February 9th, 2002. Former rental from the Movie Exchange, Inc. Now this next one is another extremely rare tape, which I was very surprised to find this yesterday. I actually found another Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment tape. And that is the 1982 VHS of Nobody's Perfect with um, the C in Perfect being replaced with a K. This is a 1981 movie starring Gabe Kaplan, Alex Caras, Robert Klein, and Susan Clark. And I've actually never even heard of this movie, but since this is a Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment tape, how could I pass this up? And plus, I'm not familiar with any of the actors that are in this either. And if you look on the bottom right here, it's got an RCA Columbia Pictures home video sticker. So I think that might give you some clues about this particular copy. Here's the inside with the cast list. Here's the sticker label and the end label. This does not say the rating or the running time, but if you want to know what they are, you can just look them up yourself. I believe this movie is rated PG, if I'm not mistaken. And it's also got the RC Coin Pictures Home Video sticker right there. Former rental from Video Max. And this was printed in the 17th week of 1984. So yes, this is a later printing. Although I think this still might have the Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment logo at the beginning, or it might just... Wait. Yeah, this is a Columbia Pictures movie, so it might even just have the Columbia Pictures logo in the start of the film. But I'll have to check for sure. But yeah, I was very lucky to find this tape. Oh, and it actually does say the rating on the front. It is rated PG, but it just doesn't say the running time. All right, the next one is the 1995 VHS of Radio Land Murders. This is a 1994 movie with Mary Stewart Masterson and Brian Ben Ben. It also has Ned Beatty, Scott Michael Campbell, Michael Lerner, Michael McKean, Jeffrey Tambor, Stephen Tobolowski, and Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, and it was executive produced and the story were written by George Lucas and co-produced by Lucasfilm Limited. At Station WBN, the hits just keep on coming. A great funny film, it's a killer, it's a satellite news network. Rated PG, 1 hour and 48 minutes, aka 108 minutes. It also features appearances by George Burns, Harvey Corman, and Bobcat Goldthwait. Here's the sticker label. Printed in the 13th week of 1995. And this is a former rental from Couch Potatoes in Burlington, New Jersey. All right. The next one is a Nelson Entertainment tape, and it is the nice high one VHS of Sibling Rivalry. This is a 1990 Castle Rock Entertainment movie starring Kirstie Alley. Sex relations, family relations, brother does Marjorie wish she was no relation. 
Utterly hilarious, the funniest romance of the year, loaded with laughs, it's a rollicking good times of Susan Granger of American Movie Classics. And this movie also stars Bill Pullman, the late Carrie Fisher, Jamie Gertz, Scott Bakula with Sam Elliott, and Ed O'Neill as Wilbur. Kirstie Alley is, is as appealing as she was in Look Who's Talkings as Roger Ebert, New York Post. Sibling rivalry will have you howling with laughter as Marshall Five Gannett newspapers. And this was directed by Carl Reiner. Yeah. And this movie is originally released by Columbia Pictures, and it even has the RCA Columbia Pictures on video logo on the on the back. But from what I found out, even though I've not actually checked this tape yet, this tape apparently does not have the RCA Columbia Pictures on video logo. Rated PG-13, 88 minutes. Here's the vertical ink label. No print date and. The sticker is covered up, but I believe this is a former rental from West Coast Video. And now here's the last VHS for the update. Just like the GI Blues VHS, this one was also sealed when I got it. The 1994 VHS of Star Trek, the original television pilot episodes, which includes the unaired pilot, The Cage, and the actual first aired episode where no man has gone before. And this is now my second VHS of the Star Trek TV series I have, the other one being Space Seed. They also had a few other VHSs of the Star Trek series at that store, but this was the only one I got. But I might get some others sometime. Yep, The Cage stars Jeffrey Hunter, guest star Susan Oliver, co-starring Leonard Nimoy as Mr. Spock, Majel Barrett, John Hoy, Peter Druyer, and Laurel good win. And it uses a 1989 copyright date for some reason, but I believe it was actually filmed in 1966. Where No Man Has Gone Before, original already of September 22nd, 1966. Starring William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, guest stars Gary Lockwood Sarah, and Sally Kellerman, featuring James Doohan and George Takei. Not rated the Cage is 64 minutes, where no, man, where no Man Has Gone Before is 51 minutes. So it makes the total running time 115 minutes. Sticker label and end label. The 39th week of 1994. And it did come with this little booklet which I'm going to show quickly. Which it advertises other Star Trek videos including the movies. and other Star Trek merchandise. And on the back, an ad for A Brief History in Time, starring the late Stephen Hawking. May he rest in peace. Let's get these back in. So that's the VHS tapes I got. And now on to the three Blu-rays, which I got all three of these from eBay. This first one came in on Monday, April 1st, and this is a movie I saw in theaters. The 2019 Blu-ray of Aquaman. This is a 2018 DC Comics movie. Includes exclusive sneak peek of Shazam, which comes out in theaters tonight, and I am planning to go see that movie next week. That movie looks awesome. Yeah, and as for this movie, this one was pretty good. An adventurous visual spectacle, says Brian Trude of USA Today. Here's the bonus features list. You can just pause and read it yourself. Here's the actual Blu-ray case. And it stars Jason Momoa, Amber Heard, William Defoe, Patrick Wilson, Dolph Lundgren, Yaya Abdul... Mateen the second and Nicole Kidman. Rated PG-13 for sequences of sci-fi violence and action for some language. 143 minutes.
Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. And you all know the drill if you want this code. Now this next Blu-ray, um, if you read my community tab, I thought this one did not come yesterday, but it turns out it actually came later on and I discovered it in my mailbox last night because it came after the rest of my regular mail for some odd reason. But here it is anyway. This is the one I won as a bid auction last Friday, March 29th. The 2008 Blu-ray of Hellboy 2 The Golden Army. Also a 2008 movie, and it's the sequel to the 2004 movie Hellboy to have on DVD, and I still have yet to watch it, but hopefully in the near future I will check it out. That movie was released by Columbia Pictures, but this one on the other hand was released by Universal. And this movie stars Ron Perlman, Selma Blair, Doug Jones, Jeffrey Tambor, Seth MacFarlane, who is best known for creating Family Guy and American Dad and John Hurt. Yep, here's the special features list. And I know there's also a Hellboy reboot coming out in theaters next week, which I might see. Rated PG-13 for sequences of sci-fi action and violence in some language. And it's two hours long, aka 120 minutes. And I did get this Blu-ray used. Here's the Blu-ray and this bonus features DVD. And here's the digital copy code, which already expired on November 30th, 2009. And here's the Blu-ray user guide. Yep. Get these back in. And now, here's the last Blu-ray, which this one I got brand new, just like the Aquaman Blu-ray. And this is another movie I saw in theaters. The 2019 Blu-ray of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is a 2018 movie. Academy Award nominee, Best Animated Feature. Well, that actually ended up winning the Oscar for Best Animated Feature. It includes all-new Spider-Ham mini-movie. And that Oscar was very well-deserved, because this was an awesome movie. Highly recommend seeing it if you're a Spider-Man fan. Not only the coolest Spider-Man epic ever, it's one of the best movies of the year since Peter Travers of One Stone. And I couldn't agree more. Here's the bonus features list. And it's got the voices of Shane McMoore, Jake Johnson, Haley Steinfeld, Marshall Ali, Brian Tyree Henry, Lily Tomlin, Luna Lauren Velez, Zoe Kravitz, John Mulaney with Nicolas Cage, Katherine Hahn, and Liv Schreiber. Rated PG for frantic sequences of animated action violence and Mac elements of mild language. Approximately 117 minutes. Here's the actual Blu-ray case itself. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. Blu-ray is artwork, DVD is just a bland clear disc. And if anyone wants the code, just go ahead and take it. I would try airing this in on Sony Rewards, but for some reason I haven't been able to put in codes on that website for months. Like they said, they're coming out with a new disc registering program, but I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah. And that's going to do it for my VHS and Blu-ray update for April 4th, 2019. This is Brandon's Movie Corner, signing off.